and welcome to another Disneyland Paris vlog. Um, we are currently in the hotel room. Here's Joe. I'm all showered now. Joe's all showered now. If you watched our Pretty vlog, nice. a previous vlog, we'll be at Pim's kitchen in 42 degree heat. It was. It was a tad on the warm side. Oh, it was. We were a little bit well done, so I would say. It's still quite late in the evening. Actually, it's about 8:30 now. Um, it's still like 37 degrees. Yeah. It's dropping. So it's, it's, coming, it's down. coming down. Um, but we are going ahead. 35 now, sorry. 35 degrees now. That's not awful. Yeah. So we, the plan Just is... I don't know if you can see it. Ooh. There you go. 35. Um, so the plan is to go back to the parks. Um, we're going to go to Disneyland Park and try and do as many rides as we can. Um, we're not watching Illuminations or anything like that. So we're hoping... That as long as there is no rides that are down, Big Thunder, you know, which is always down, um, we're going to try and do as many rides while everybody's watching Illuminations. Um, and yeah, because yeah. we last last night we were there. Yeah. Uh, Illuminations was at uh, no, sorry, Big Thunder was at fifteen. I was minutes. at Illuminations, so we're hoping that um, if we can do that, we can avoid the crowds and um, do some rides. Yeah. That's the plan. So. There's enough talking here in the hotel room. Let's get to the parks. And we're back. It's nine o'clock. We've got two hours until the park closes. So we're gonna try and hit as many rides as we can. So we're literally on the overpass. When you walk into Frontierland, you come in down there. get to look out. It's actually quite a nice view. Will Big Thunder go past? I wonder. Here it comes. There it is. Big Thunder. So just been to the shops. We bought some pins. We managed to actually find the 30th pins. One Mickey and one at the castle with the big 30 logo. So finally got managed to get a pin. Managed to get something for the 30th merch. Yeah, because we didn't... We, the two times... No, hang on. How many times have we been since? Once. Yeah, it's only last time. Yeah, we've only been yeah. here once since for it, but we couldn't find anything then. No. By any pins that we liked. So yeah, so we've done that. I've got a little teddy for the dogs. And... Yeah. They're going to love chewing this one up. So yeah, and now it's time for uh, Phantom Manor. So it's only a five minute wait. So we thought, right, let's just do it. Not gonna film on it, because it's far too dark and you don't see a thing. So we'll see you when we get off. So that was Phantom Manor. Okay. That was Phantom Manor. Yeah. <laughs> Still it's, don't understand it. Yeah, I, I, I like it. I just don't get the whole World West thing at the end. Yeah, I get you're in Frontierland, but... Yeah, I think that's what he's trying to tie in with. Still prefer the one in Magic Kingdom in Florida. Definitely. But we are now looking over at Big Thunder. The queue has dropped for it, so... Yeah, I think it's 25 minutes now. I think that's not a bad time to queue. Nah, it's not too bad. So I think... Oh, here it comes. Here it comes. Here it comes. Hello. That is cool. Right, off we go. So Big Thunder's 40 minutes. No. We are going to head over to Space Mountain, Hyper Space Mountain, because it's saying 20 minutes. Then we're going to try and see if we can squeeze in and do Buzz. Yeah, because that's only showing 30 minutes. And then hopefully we'll be able to, if that goes to plan, get back over here before 11 when they kind of start to close the park down and get on Big Thunder. And then we are going to eat. We decided we're going to eat at Five Guys. Because we've not eaten there. I've, not ever, I've never had a Five Guys. I've never had a Five Guys. That's bad. So they have. They have got a Five Guys in Bristol, but we never, we never have had one. So we've got to try the milkshake in Five Guys. Yeah. Milkshakes may be quite nice. So, gotta get a stomp on. We're on a sweat. Saying, isn't it? 
a stomp on. Get a stomp on. Get a stomp on and get over to Hyperspace Mountain. Okay, so we've got to Discovery. Space Mountain. Autopia's all lit up. Joe's just checking the wait time. Is it still saying 20 minutes? Buzz now chose 20 as well. Buzz is now 20. Yes. Okay, so I think we've made a good idea here. <coughs> Get on the ride. That doesn't look like 20. <laughs> oh no, that's Orbitron. That's Orbitron. Phew! <laughs> I panicked then. I was like, are you for real? Here we go. Look at it going. Right, let's do this thing. 20 minutes, please be 20 minutes. Please be 20 minutes or quicker. Finally, we're walking on. It was literally about a 20 minute wait, so that wasn't bad. That ain't too bad, I don't think. We've not done this at night, have we? Not that it makes any difference because you're inside, but... You've got the tube in the dark. Yeah. Just seeing all the lights on inside. Here we go. Away we go. What number? So that was space, hyperspace mountain. It is a good ride. It is good. But I do prefer normal space mountain. Like going on Flight For Force, knows, yeah. Flight Force and that, they're very similar. I always said that rock space, Hyperspace Mountain is a bit like Rock and Roller Coaster. Yeah. So it's very similar to Flight Force. But it was good. We did it. Box ticked. Um, Joe's just checking times. We did say about maybe doing Buzz. Buzz is 20 minutes. 20 I minutes. I think it will be 20 minutes. Well, that was supposed to have been 20 and we... That was, yeah, about just under 20, 20 minutes. Yeah. Oh, there's a nice breeze and it is definitely starting to cool down, which and is I can nice. See a lot of dry yeah, we are doing a little bit of rain tomorrow and a thunderstorm tonight, so I'm hoping that will uh, help break the air a little bit. <laughs> so, right, let's head over to, to Buzz. Here we are, Buzz Lightyear. Let's do 20 minutes, let's give it a go. Fingers crossed. Hey, Buzz. Battle stations. Oh, right, battle Report stations. Report to the flight deck for immediate launch. Okay. To infinity and beyond. He's going to speak in French. <laughs> Can you repeat that in French? Yeah. Oh, he's fluent. He's got his French mode. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he's switched in his Spanish mode, and that, he's got his French mode. Right, that was not 20 minutes, that was like five minute walk on. So, we are here. Let's do this. Find a light so you can see us. But yeah, we've literally ran from over a buzz to Big Thunder. It's like a 15 minute wait. So we're gonna do that now. Let's go. Here we go, 15 minutes. It's taken us a while. Literally, it's dead. The yeah. queue's dead, so we we're found a light. Through. And you can see us. We're yeah. sweaty though, look at we're us. We're a bit clammy. But the queue's empty. I look nice and tanned. I just look clammy. Yeah. I feel clammy. Right, yeah, let's go. Oh. We were on straight away. So there you go, that was uh, Thunder Mountain. That was good. The 30th drones was shining up as we were going yeah, around. That was quite cool. Uh, but we're going to head out of the park now. Obviously the hub is packed. Zing. So we're going to take a little shortcut. So if you need to get out of the park, rather than walking through the hub when the fireworks are on, where the lucky, if you're in Frontierland, Lucky Nugget, okay? To this is where we are right the, now. Here's the Lucky Nugget. You're looking at the Lucky Nugget to the left. Yeah, there's a little alleyway that will take you right round to buy Casey's and you can kind of cut down the side kind of promenade. It's such a quicker way. I mean, look, dead. it's dead. If we were trying to walk through the hub now, it'd be impossible. So this literally takes you 
all the way to the front of the park, yeah. skipping those ridiculous crowds that you can kind of see. Yeah. See, it's all going on, but a few people are starting to leave now because they've watched the drone show and they're not interested in staying for illuminations. Yeah. Which I didn't blame them, to be fair. I'm not a fan of illuminations, I've already said that. So we're going to leave now and go to... Five guys. Not four guys, but five guys. Five guys. So, we'll like see who... Five guys. Because five guys make it. One person makes the bud, one person cuts out the lettuce, one person adds the cheese, and one person makes the pie. Are you being serious? Yeah. But five people make the burger. That's how many burgers it takes to... Met people taste the He's so gullible. <laughs> <laughs> I actually don't know why it's called no. Five Guys. If anybody knows why it's called Five Guys, please comment below. Yeah. Why is it Five Guys? So yeah, we will see you in Five Guys. So this is where the buses, you get the buses from. Not the buses, the car park. Yeah. This is the car park side. Yeah, Which you wouldn't actually really come to if you're no, staying in the Disney hotels. Fly in, yeah. Vapiano, pasta pizza bar, and then five guys. We got our five guys milkshake. That is actually really nice. There's clown on it. Mm. Strawberry. strawberry. It's got bits of strawberry in. Yeah, mine's really strawberry. And then here's my burger. Just went for a standard cheese. But they just said that there's like. Wow. <laughs> wow. Got fries. Got loads of fries. Always check the bag for extra fries. <laughs> we got some here. You want those as well? Got some mayo. Got some ketchup. Taste the fry. A taste the fry. Here we go. They're very fluffy. They're very, apparently, they're very fluffy. They're good fries. They are good fries. And they're salt, they're seasoned. They're seasoned already. I just get salt. Good here. <laughs> but yeah, right. I'm going to tuck in and let you know what we think after. So, thoughts on five guys? I feel like it's enough to feed five guys. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just so full. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we don't even have that much. No. Like, there was like two patties in the burger. Like two patties in the burger. The burger was nice, but it was so filling. I couldn't eat it all. The chips were really nice, but again, so many chips. And when it's 20 to 12 at night. <laughs> yeah. It's just going to sit on your belly. I, I, I'm officially starting a diet after the end of this trip. Yeah, okay. <laughs> all this food, that's it. Next time you see us, I'm lying, but we be skinny guys. Really sick things. <laughs> They're whole new ass. I used to be skinny, but not anymore. Same. It's all these Disney trips and all these Disney food. It's just you do gain so much weight, and I have it. I know I. Do. You do when you eat as much as we do. We eat. We put it away. <laughs> <laughs> but hey, it was good. I I like that. And it's open to midnight, so yeah, it's that's handy. handy when you're coming out of the parks. There is somewhere to eat, because most of the other restaurants close at 11. So if you were staying for illuminations, you're never going to get out in time to get to a restaurant. So, right, that's food done. Time to go and queue an hour for a bus. Let's go and queue an hour for a bus. Yay! So we are back in the room. Back in the room. Yeah. The queues for the bus back was ridiculous yeah i'm sorry but <laughs> over here the bus stops there is it's just a free-for-all there is no queue system whatsoever it's not like florida with the uh, bus stops and the queue in obviously you stand in a nice line it's just a free-for-all free just for all. get on the bus if you can yeah. if you can't get on push your way through and then just get in yeah. I mean, hang off the back of it if you must. <laughs> That's one downside that I'm going to say about these group of hotels. So the Campanile, not Neil, Campanile, the Magic Circus, the 
Dreamcast or Explorers, Explorers, the B and B, that kind of stretch because they share the, the the shuttle to the parks is a shared shuttle between five, five these five hotels. So when when it's kind of closing time or when you've got a lot of kind of guests coming back from the parks, it's been a bit of a nightmare. It was a nightmare this morning. Yeah, I mean, yesterday wasn't too bad. I don't know whether the buses take it in terms on whether they take it in turns. Sorry. Whether they go to like one hotel and then each one and then the following day they then the one they went to last like they went to last and then then go to first for one day i don't know how it works because we have yeah. found that actually we've gone straight from the bus stop to our hotel but then we've also found we've gone straight from the bus stop to like the opposite end hotel yeah. and then we've been the last stop which yeah it's a bit annoying but whatever <laughs> it's a bit annoying but whatever <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but that is one thing. So if if it's busy, then you could be having to wait for the next bus and that sort of thing. That's the only downside that I find 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 with it. Um, but if it's it's minor, we've not had an issue going to the parks. It's just been getting back. Getting back. Yeah. yeah. Um, so tonight was cool. We managed to do quite a few rides. We did really? within two oh. hours. We did four rides, which is pretty good going. Um, so. It's kind of worthwhile, kind of. I think. Yeah, if, if you're not fussed about watching the shows, then yeah, those last two hours before the shows are on, hit up the rides. Hit up the rides. Do it. That's the way to do it. That is true. Um, and then we had five guys, which is really good. But oh, I feel so full I think now. Think we could have eaten half a burger each. Easily, and... it was a, it was it was a lot of food and it was greasy, in a good way. But you know when you you've eaten stodge stodge and you're like oh no. He's on the belly. Um, but yeah, it was good. So first time I've had five guys, I've pressed the milkshake. The milkshake was yeah, good. I like, I like the milkshake. So yeah, these are the pins that we picked up earlier. We can see them, but yeah, there's a few. Mickey. Um, yeah, they're cute. I like them. Yeah. I've done so many pins this time. I've done three. You've done one. Yeah, I'm not a massive fan of the pins here in Disneyland Paris. I don't think they're the same. Although, I, I, I think because of the thirtieth ones, yeah, I wanted to get them, but they're not. They're not as a, pins aren't as big a thing. I don't think out here compared to Florida. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, but we've been trying. We tried to get them last time. And we couldn't get them. So yeah. yeah. Um, so yeah, t tomorrow is our last day. We fly home tomorrow. So Sometimes. we will be going into the parks. Obviously, tomorrow is the official opening of Avengers Campus. Um, we're predicting that Walt Disney Studios is going to be ridiculous with everybody trying to get into Avengers Campus. I think it will be. Yeah. Um, we're not planning on going into Avengers Campus tomorrow. Um, we've been lucky to do it twice as part of the preview days. Um, and it's been so dead in there. There's, you know, the ride's been walked like on had it to ourselves. To ourselves, pretty yeah. much. Whereas it's not going to be like that, especially on opening day. I mean, this whole trip, we've done web slingers three times, and we've done flight force twice. twice. Yeah. We, so that's that's not bad going. No, and we've been able to we we've been in Pim's kitchen. And we've been and they we've been practically walked on those. The yeah. Old, pretty much. Yeah. So. Yeah, but like you said, Pim's kitchen, Stark factory. Yeah. So there's no plan to go there tomorrow. We are going to go into Disneyland Park again. Um, just because we think that because the crowds are going to be in Walt Disney Studios, it may mean that we can kind of do a few more things in Disneyland Park before we head home. Yeah. But we'll see. Plans could change. Hopefully the castle will be open. Joe's having a yawn there. As well, yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Hello, good morning. Welcome to our final vlog from Disneyland Paris. Yep, last day today. We're in Disneyland Park. Um, it is our last day and it's the opening day of Avengers Campus. And Which means it's July the 20th. July the 20th, yeah. Um, we were just literally walking down to Disneyland Park and there were signs up outside Walt Disney Studios already saying that Avengers Campus is completely full. So. It's kind of, clearly busy in there. Yeah. I think you, you had a look at the web thing too, didn't you? Yeah, it was 90 minutes after, like, once everybody could arrive, not just the hotel guests. So that was, what, just after nine, it was 90-minute wait for web slingers. So I'm glad we, we were very lucky we managed to do it twice. 
as part of the previews. Um, but that does mean our plan of hoping that Disneyland Park might be quiet. Hmm. I think everybody's seeing that sign and making their way to here. here so instead. we'll see what we can get up to. Um, either way, we're going to enjoy our last day. So let's uh, hit the park. It's raining. It's pouring. So we're going for food. Yes. Because <laughs> that's what we do. <laughs> when it rains, we eat. We eat. <laughs> it's drizzling, I should say. More so that it's not torrential. But everyone's got their ponchos on. It is from the Jungle Book. Colonel Hattie's Pizza Outpost. Hopefully it's not too busy in here. But we'll see. Well, this is cosy. Nice little light. Look at that. Garlic bread. Pizza. Salad, salad from hell. Can I take a box home, <laughs> You want to take a box home? Do you have an It's a Mickey shaped pizza. What's pepperoni. Mine would be the same without the pepperoni on. Oh, you actually got quite nice. Yeah. And a salad. Get this, can we do Come healthy. And a yogurt. Joe got for ice cream. Mm, which is actually a mini magnet. And it's a proper mini magnet. It beats being caught in the rain. Right. Pizza time. So from 42 degree heat yesterday to now wearing it's like 90 degrees because it is absolutely pouring it down. We resisted as long as we could, but no, it's too bad. Um, we're currently in the queue for Phantom. We're just trying to find any ride that has a queue that's kind of got some cover. Even though you've got ponchos on, you're still getting wet. My trainers are getting wet. I chose the smart option. I went, I decided to go for flip drops because I thought, what's the point in getting wet trainers? You're just going to get wet feet, so you might as well just get them as wet as you can wear a flip drop. Luckily, I have a pair of trainers in my suitcase. Yeah, so I will change trainers and socks in my backpack. As well. Yeah, so that's handy. But yeah, let's do Phantom. Tous les groupes, 